Hello Pokemon trainers, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Battle Stadium singles video here on iStarly TV. Today we have a brand new battle team and this is from user Theorymon on the Smogon forums. This is a user by the name of Theorymon and they are on the Smogon forums. They posted this team here and it looked really cool. I liked a lot of the Pokemon that it's using so I wanted to try it out for myself. So we're gonna try a couple games today and see how it goes. I Unfortunately, they did not post the EVs for this team, so we don't know what the heck the EV spreads are, and of course, some of them are really unique. So, you know, because I actually was looking at the EVs on this team, because uh, I did a battle before this to try it out, and some of the EV spreads are a little bit unconventional. So, of course, we're just gonna see <laughs> how it goes, but we've got Choice Specs Chiyu, Choice Scarf Fluttermane, we've got Focus Sash Palmot, which is really cool, Assault Vest, Baxcalibur, Rocky Helmet, Scizor, and then Lumberry Rotom right there. So there's the team code if you want to try it out yourself. Let's get into some games. Game one, we have a couple annoying Pokemon. My opponent's team is really bulky. I wonder if they're trying to go for some kind of stalled tactics, which is really obnoxious if they are. I really like Baxcalibur here though, and Baxcalibur is a Pokemon you don't see quite as often anymore. Maybe because Chi, uh, Chi and Pao is maybe the superior ice type, but Baxcalibur is still really good in this meta. And like I said, I do really like it in this matchup here. So I'm gonna bring that. I'm not sure I'm gonna lead with it though. This is a bulky, I think it's bulky, bulky uh, Rocky Helmet Swords Dance Scizor, which is pretty cool. I, oh, sorry if you could hear that. Uh, I also think I like Chi Yu here. This is Interesting, Terra Fire. I guess Terra Blast is used specifically to, to be a normal type move, I, I think. That's really weird. All right, and then we have Fluttermane, which is actually a little bit bulky as well. And then we also have uh, Rotom Wash, which is interesting too. I like this one. I think I want to bring Rotom as well. I think Rotom looks pretty good here. And then finally, uh, I'm going to bring Palmot. I just, I was gonna bring Scizor, cause Scizor kinda looks decent as well, but then they have uh, Tox, Tox, what's it called? Uh, Toxapex. <laughs> um, so I just didn't wanna have a situation where I have Scizor and they bring in Toxapex. Just Toxapex is a really annoying Pokemon. You know, certain Pokemon can deal with it pretty easily, but then there are certain Pokemon that just can't do anything to it at all and it just becomes a huge problem, so. We're just gonna bring it like that. I think Palmot's a pretty solid lead because it does have the Focus Sash. My opponent leads with Garganackle though, which I don't like to see. Though what I could possibly do here is Double Shock. Of course we have, you know, Mock Punch and Close Combat to kind of threaten it, so it's possible my opponent switches out. I'm just gonna Double Shock, just see how much we can do here. And, and they might switch into something that doesn't take it really well. So we're just gonna kind of go for this here. They go into, oh! <laughs> Uh, okay, that's really interesting that they would switch in Toxapex against an electric type. I mean, I guess it maybe you could say it kind of works out for them here. So I'm no longer an electric type. The cool thing with Toxapex, or I'm sorry, with uh, with Palmot though, with Double Shock, is if you actually Terastalize into an electric type, you can use Double Shock again. So let's see what happens here. If I Terra, I actually think if I Terra, I'm not in a bad spot. I think I'm going to go ahead and Terra here. Because they could have, uh, what's it called, Wo Qian, but I have fighting moves for it, and then if it terastalizes, then I could just use Double Shock. So I think I'm in an okay spot just terastalizing here. They might protect, but if they do, and then they switch, they don't really have a good switch into Palmot. So I think Palmot can kind of wreak havoc here. They do go for, for Baneful Bunker, which honestly, Bunker, not Bunker, uh, which honestly is really annoying here because I am gonna take, uh, I'm gonna get poisoned, I believe which is really bad because I have a Focus Sash, but it is what it is. Now they know I'm gonna go for a Double Shock again. I'm just gonna go for it again, honestly. I don't think I lose anything for not going for it, or I don't think I lose anything by going for it is what I'm trying to say. So we're just gonna click it once again, and Garganapple's not a great switch. Tox Toxapex is not a great Pokemon to stay in. Uh, I guess the worst case scenario is that they have Chen Pao, but otherwise, I think I'm in an okay spot here. So, of course, they do have... Or, Wo Qian. I, I keep getting their names mixed up now. This does also lower my attack for what it's worth. But I do think what I'm going to do... I actually think I'm, I'm in a safer spot if I switch, though. You know, I'd like to go for a close combat. But I think it's a little too likely that they terastalize, like, maybe into a poison type. 
and then maybe leech seed or something which is pretty annoying although if they leech seed huh they haven't seen an item for me so from their perspective it is possible that i am actually um like a cho choice you know what i think i'm just gonna close combat i don't know this is really annoying oh they actually don't terra okay that's great they do take it though obviously because of their ability but now I have to make a prediction. They do go Leech Seed, which is actually really obnoxious. I think I'm just going to go into Bax Caliber now. Because keeping... We know that their three Pokemon are, are pretty slow. So keeping Palmot alive is actually pretty, pretty clutch, I would say. Yeah, this is really annoying. But I, I don't know if it's possible that they're going to Leech Seed again. So I think we might have a somewhat free switch into Bax Caliber. I guess they could have like knockoff, but if they knock off, I actually don't care because I'm a salt vest. And none of their Pokemon are, are damage dealers, so I actually don't really care. Their team is extremely annoying though, by the way. I mean, yeah, this is just really annoying. They protect, they reveal protect, which is good to know. Um, I'm gonna try to bait out that Terra. I mean, they're, they're really taking their time on that. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click Icicle Spear. If they are Terra Poison, then we do have a follow-up Earthquake that might do a lot of damage. But I think this is a good play for us. Yeah, they do finally Terra, which is good to know because that gives us good information against their final, their last two Pokemon. Like, we know now that we can freely click, like, an Electric move against Toxapex and a Ground or Fighting-type move against Garganacle without fear of them Terrastalizing. So they Terra Fairy, which is not amazing. You know, there's a possibility we can potentially knock them out. Nah, I don't think we're knocking them out here, even if we get five hits. Yeah, we only hit three times, which reveals to them that we are not the... the... Uh, what's it? What am I trying to say here? We are not loaded dice. And I don't know if they've changed anything with Leech Seed. I don't think they have, but something I've noticed in this gen is po whenever a Pokemon uses Leech Seed, it like never misses. <laughs> Really annoying stuff. I feel like when I use Leech Seed, I, I miss sometimes. And then when my opponents use it, they like never miss. So I'm going to try to go into Rotom here and set up a substitute. They might Leech Seed on the Switch though, which is really annoying. Which is why I, why I said that about how opponents never seem to miss. But they actually Switch. However, I actually think getting up a substitute with Rotom could be good against their whole team. Except maybe Garganacle. So they go into Toxapex, which could have Toxic. So this could actually be a really important turn for us. I'm going to get behind a sub and then just start setting up nasty plots. And, oh, that's great. Okay. So they could go Garganacle here, which is also a little annoying, though, because of the potential that they could have um, Salt Cure. However, they don't go into Garganacle. They go right back into Wochian. We know Wochian has Protect and Leech Seed. I think I have a really good matchup here, though. Even if they get to, like plus six HP, or I'm not, not plus six, what am I saying? Even if they get like a lot of recovery from the leftovers, I think we're okay to just start setting up nasty plots. I mean, we don't know what their last two moves are. So, you know, they could throw, throw a wrench in our plans, but I, I feel like guessing what, oh, they have Giga Drain. Okay. I was going to say guessing what Wo Qian could have. I actually think I like our position here, but they do have Giga Drain. Um, I think I have to go for Thunderbolt now. So that is really annoying, the fact that they have Giga Drain. But I have to just get off damage on them. Yeah, this is really annoying. I really hate playing against Stall. It's just not fun. Oh, we almost killed them. That's so good. They go knockoff, maybe predicting a switch, which is actually really good. Well, it knocks off our Lumberry. I actually thought we had like a Wiki Berry or something. But the cool thing here is I'm free to go for Thunderbolt and they they can't switch. They can't do anything like they could protect here. But I think my safer play is just Thunderbolt. I think they're going to protect, though. Oh, they don't. OK, cool. So we finally get rid of one of these annoying Pokemon um, and they have two more left. And I'm at plus two special attack. If they go Garganacle, I just have to fire off Thunderbolts, really. Um, if they go into Tox Toxapex, though, it is possible that I can actually substitute against Toxapex. Okay, they go Garganacle, which is a pretty good play on their part. But now that they can no longer Terra, I think I'm just free to Thunderbolt. This will do some decent damage. Hopefully they don't recover. That's great. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Because we might be able to get off another Thunderbolt here. No, I don't think so. I think we're di dying to the Salt Cure. Pretty annoying. 
Yeah, that's fine. So now, hmm, we only know that they have Salt Cure, which pretty much every Garganacle has. We don't know if they have Protect. Do I just Earthquake? Which will do more damage? Earthquake is not Stab. I think Close Combat does more damage. I actually think we go into Pama and Double Shock here. Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, okay, Close Combat is... I think Close Combat does more damage, but Double Shock is safer because if they switch into Toxapex... Okay, they're dead, okay. So now they go into Toxapex. And... We'll see what happens. Oh, they're at full health, which I didn't realize. I guess I, I forgot about, or I wasn't thinking about... Um, wait. I'm going to Revival Blessing, right? Oh, this is a great turn, because we can actually revive Rotom. And depending on what moves their Tox Toxapex has... I keep wanting to call it Toxtricity. Depending on what moves their Toxapex has, we can actually stall them out with Rotom, potentially. So I think this is a great turn for us. And then we can just double shock, and I don't think they're going to survive. And if they do, we have Rotom in the back. So nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's great. Feels really good to beat an annoying stall team like that. And yeah, I think we played all right, and my opponent was playing stall. That's all I need to say. Let's get another battle going. All right, interesting team here. My opponent has Jump Pluff here, which you, do, you definitely do not see very commonly at all. But... It's another annoying one that can get off Leech Seed. There, I feel like Leech Seed is just one of the most common moves right now. Not really, but it feels like it. So how do I counteract that? Because that is very annoying. I mean, Fluttermane's a good one. Fluttermane actually looks really good here because it's faster than a lot of their Pokemon. Although the enemy Fluttermane as well as that Azumarill are going to give me some trouble. Those are actually pretty scary to look at. So, how do we want to counteract that? Palmot's a decent one as well. And I do think Palmot... I think Palmot is faster than Jumpluff. In which case... Palmot could be a good lead, once again. I think I want to lead Palmot. I think I do like Fluttermane. And then we want to be able to deal with that Garganacle. I think I bring Scizor. We'll see how this goes. Interesting stuff here. I like, I really enjoy using teams made by other people. But as I've said in the past, it's it's a little tougher. Like, I feel like I play a lot worse because I don't, I don't know the team in and out. Like, when I build my own teams, like, there's a reason I have Pokemon on the teams. And, like certain EV spreads and moves and stuff I have on the team for certain reasons, so I feel more comfortable using it, obviously. And when I use teams from other people, especially when they don't put, like, the, the EVs and stuff, which is, you know, fine, like, I mean, they don't have to, but if they don't put the EVs, then I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. Like, sometimes some Pokemon will fu function slightly differently if they have different EVs, but anyways, I'm just kind of complaining because I'm not that great. I don't consider myself to be that great of a battler, um, but I do try. Anyways. They go into Bax Caliber here, which very well could Terra. I think I just go for go right for close combat though. Like if, if I lose Palm out early, that's not the end of the world. But getting off some damage right away is actually a good place for me to start. And if they like switch into Fluttermane, that's actually fine by me as well, because I can like double shock or something like that. So this I think once again, Palmot's actually really good. I should actually start trying to use it a little more commonly on some of my teams because it actually has a pretty solid matchup against a lot of Pokemon in the meta right now. And it has a, a really cool uh, move pool. So they actually Terra Fire, which is cool. They should still take solid damage from the close combat, but they're definitely going to be taking a lot less damage than they would have otherwise. Yeah, they take a lot less damage. All right, so hopefully they do not Dragon Dance. Although, actually, you know what? If they do Dragon Dance, that's actually not too bad because that would uh, that would keep my Focus Sash intact. However, they do take me down to the Focus Sash, and they do reveal that they are Life Orb, which means we actually might be taking them out here. I can Mock Punch, which is going to do double damage thanks to the fact that they used Glaive Rush. 
And then if they don't die to the mock punch, they are gonna die to their own life orb. So this is a one for one trade and we got their Terra. So I actually feel really happy with the way that this, with this, the way that this kind of first turn kind of worked out for us. So on the double down, I think I wanna go into Fluttermain here because once again, it is a Pokemon that's pretty good against a lot of their Pokemon. And one Pokemon that was gonna, that I felt was gonna give Fluttermain trouble was gonna be that Baxcalibur and the fact that Baxcalibur is gone now means that they have fewer Pokemon on their team that can kind of handle Fluttermane, so that's good for me. They go into Garganackle though, which is actually probably one of the worst Pokemon they could have brought in because it's gonna be really good against me. They already ter Terrastalized though. We are Terra Fire Scizor, although they don't have any fire types. No, actually they do, they absolutely do. So, oh, this is actually rough. I might have to switch here. I think I'm gonna Moonblast though, just to see how much damage it does. Of course, Garganackle's ability makes it effectively resist ghost type moves. Salt Cure also does more, actually it does more to steel types and water types, not ghost types. So now I kind of think I'm switching here. Oh, Salt Cure is so annoying though. I feel like they're probably gonna recover, right? But oh, I, do I just straight up lose to Salt Cure? I might. If they recover, this is really bad for me. Oh, they have their berry. They might Iron Defense. If they Iron Defense, I think I think I'm just losing to to Garganackle here straight up. I hope they just knock me out with Salt Cures because if they start setting up Iron Defenses, we're just in in so much trouble. It's really tempting to Terra Moonblast, but if we don't knock them out, then that was a waste. And if they have Fluttermane or Chi Yu in the back, then Scizor is basically as good as dead. So we're trying to play to our outs, play to the fact that Scizor might be able to help us win here, but I'm really not liking my, my chances here. They do finally use that Recover, okay. Oh man, and Salt Cure, like I said, is gonna be doing a lot of damage against Scizor because I'm a Steel type. And the funny thing is, if I Terrastalize Scizor, I'm still gonna be taking extra damage from Salt Cure because then it's gonna be super effective against me. So this is just not good for me at all. I just, yeah, now they start going for Iron Defense. Ugh. I don't know if there was ever a good time for me to switch. And and this is something that can, you know, be discussed if you wanna kind of talk about it or maybe, oh God, now they they get another one. Actually, there's a chance I can knock them out. The thing is, if I Terra here though, I might just straight up lose. Oh my god. This is gonna be the, this looks like the dumbest play in the world. And I should have done this sooner. But I'm gonna Terra just to kind of hopefully guarantee that, like hopefully that extra damage will be enough to knock them out here. Again, this looks like a dumb play, but my reasoning for this, like I'm terastalizing at such low health and I might even go down to the Salt Cure. I'm just kind of banking on the fact that their last Pokemon is not Chi Yu. And, it, and with my luck, it's going to be Chi Yu. Do I die to Salt Cure still? <gasps> I do, no. Okay, well, I mean, like I said, the reason I did that, if I did not do that, I would not, if I did not terastalize, I would not knock them out with Moonblast and they would either recover or iron defense, and then my Fluttermane would die anyway to the Salt Cure. Then I would go into Scizor, and they would be like either full health with their with their Garganackle or plus four defense, in which case Scizor cannot take them out. So, okay, yeah. All right, I, I, I played that wrong. Like I said, I, do, I don't regret, um, yeah, I'm dead here. <laughs> I do not regret terastalizing there, although I should have done it sooner because if I had done it sooner, I might have knocked out Garganackle sooner, and then Fluttermane would be able to probably kill Chi Yu. Um, but like I said, yeah, I just waited too long to Terra there. That was a bad play on my part. So rough game, rough stuff. You know, again, I don't think I'm great with this team, but I like it. I like the Pokemon on the team, and it gives me ideas of other things to try, like uh, Rocky Helmet, Swords Dance Scizor sounds great, and Pama is another Pokemon that's really cool. So let me know in the, th in the comments what you thought about the team. I might play more games with it in another video here, but 
I'm really excited. Pokemon Home is actually coming out in a few days. They did announce it once again. I made another video here. Uh, I know that they originally announced it and then they said, the very next day they said, actually it's not coming out on the original date that we said. And then now it's basically officially announced to be coming out on May 30th or May 29th, depending on where you are in the world. So my hopes with Pokemon Home or my, my plan with Pokemon Home is to transfer a bunch of Pokemon into, into Scarlet and Violet. And then a lot of Pokemon that are, that are legal, like maybe some cool Dragonites from previous generations that I have. Basically Pokemon that are, I have in older games that are now gonna be, well, <laughs> that are still currently legal in Regulation C, I'm planning on using some of those. So I know it's not gonna really change anything, but maybe I can have some cool Pokemon with cool ribbons and stuff and, and, and other shinies and stuff, which is cool. But anyways, let me know in the comments what you thought about this team, what you thought about the gameplay, if you have any advice for what I should have done better in that second game. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos, and I'll see you next time.